Exactly 25 years ago this year, this beautiful young woman, Giselle Leron, captured our hearts and that of the world when she was crowned, yes, Miss World. Miss Trinidad and Tobago! I'd just like to thank everybody for coming out and supporting my venture today. It's not just for show for Miss World, it's something that is close to home because apart from my aunt who is a breast cancer survivor, also had a grandfather who died about nine years ago from prostate cancer as well. So cancer on the whole is something important to me. So I'd just like to thank everybody here for coming out, making this event possible. Leanne Forbes is hugely inspired by Giselle Laronde and hopes to become only the second woman from Trinidad and Tobago to win the Miss World title. Her event on Saturday, Kick Against Breast Cancer, was a roaring success. Six teams participated in a day's proceedings. Leanne was present for all the matches, kicked off the ball in many of them, and spent her time thanking those who would come out to support, including, well, maybe a future Miss Trinidad and Tobago or two. A battery of sponsors, including Cascadia Hotel, Pantene, Bermudez, Eastern Credit Union, Petrotrin, Blue Waters and Carib, ensured that the players were revictualed throughout the day. As for the football, the six teams played on a round-robin basis, with the top two teams meeting in the final. Most of the matches in the league system were played in ideal conditions. But just before the final was played, there was a heavy downpour that lasted for more than an hour, so the surface changed completely and so did, perhaps, the outcome of the game. In conditions it would have been trying even for a senior men's team, these ladies gave it their best shot. There was good quality football, but the ball wouldn't travel very far. The first five minutes of the game saw Jablote in complete control, but then that changed very quickly, and Providence took over. All of this happening inside the first 10 minutes of a 20-minute final. This was Jablity's best opportunity to put one in the back of the net and maybe steal the show for the day. But as you can see, the ladies had tremendous difficulty in moving the ball around. And as for Providence, they should really have converted this one, but for some smart goalkeeping. And so at the end of the 20 minutes allotted for the final, there was no separating two teams. It was goalless, and so we had to go to kicks from the penalty mark. Providence converts and Jablote responds positively. 2-1 up now to Providence. Now it's 2-all. Providence again. And Jablote again. This is where the drama starts. Providence misses. Jablote fails to capitalize. This time, Providence gets past the goalkeeper. And now, Jablote misses. So it's four goals to three on kicks from the penalty mark to Providence, the youngest team in the competition. A wonderful day had by all. Tremendous occasion it turned out to be for Leanne Forbes. And as to the individual award winners, this is Jo Marie Lewis. She won MVP in every game in which she played on the day. She's a stunning footballer with great skill. And this young lady, Katie Braffitt, did not concede a goal on the day. The winner's trophy going to Providence Girls High School. 50% of the day's profits, the equivalent of $9,000, was injected into the Scotiabank Women Against Breast Cancer Project. <laughs>